The first event on the calendar was the Rally of Wales, and for this event, the Welsh hills were shrouded in a thick blanket of fog, making things very tough for the drivers. Both Tapio and Yucky were soon setting some stunning stage times. In fact, Laukinen proved himself virtually the only man capable of touching the championship class victor of the rally, Windap Evans. The 26-year-old Finn tied on times with the fleet Welshman on two of Friday's special stages, and throughout the first stages was a consistent top three runner. Teammate Kuhaka surprised many championship regulars with his pace, and Ashley was looking for amateur class honours. With no experience of forest stage rallying, limited testing time, and not having rallied a two-wheel drive car for 10 years, Yaki didn't expect to be so competitive. But for Ashley, the end of the road came all too soon. He burned a hole in a piston, and that was that. night fell at the end of the first day of the Welsh. Both works cars were still delighting regular rally watchers. Unfortunately, Laukinen was to retire from second place with engine problems. He damaged an oil cooler on some rough ground on the very first stage of the rally. It had been fixed, of course, but the engine sustained some damage and it let go on the 10th stage. Laukinen was bitterly disappointed, but at least he felt he'd put up a good show and the signs were excellent for the rest of the season. Teammate Puhaka lost nine minutes through minor ignition problems, but fought his way back to eighth place overall, giving Volkswagen fifth place in the Manufacturers' Championships. So, on to the second round, the gruelling Pirelli International. All three drivers were on their metal to make a mark on the fearsome border stages. The Scottish is notorious for a ban on pace notes and wrecking. The driver really has to trust his navigator to call the bends from an ordnance survey map. Tapio and his co-driver rose to the challenge and were soon in the top three slots. Suspension trouble was looming, though. It sidelined them early on in the event, and the yellow goal finally blocked the stage. Yaki Puhaka posted second fastest times twice early on in the stages, and this only his second UK rally appearance. He was blitzing the two-litre opposition. The crew had to change a gearbox early on in the rally, and that cost him a minute in road penalties. So at the start of the fearsome 24-mile-long Hundershaw stage, Volkswagen's flying fin really had the bit between his teeth. A spin in between log piles in mid-stage cost Yuki a lot of time, so he really had to attack the last three stages. On the 11th and final stage of the rally, he was 20 seconds ahead of the opposition to record fastest time and consolidate his fourth place overall. Ashley Blenkhorn brought his privateer car home ninth and claimed fifth in the Autosport Amateur Award standings. For the third round, the rally circus moved across the fourth bridge to Perth for the Scottish rally. A psyched-up Tapio was out for blood and blitzed into the stages, winning four of the first eight in truly spectacular fashion to take the Formula 2 class lead. But mechanical gremlins were soon back at Tapio's elbow, and his crew had to change the gearbox on stage six. His crew fought to change the box within a tight time schedule allowed, and an impatient Tapio blazed away again. But soon the new gearbox was giving trouble, and by stage nine, a disappointed Tapio's charge was over. Tapio's teammate, Yaki Buhaka, was once again quick and neat, although he did take the odd shortcut. He was proving a regular top five stage time contender in the 650 mile marathon, fast turning into a benefit for the Finns. Volkswagen's third man, Ashley Blenkhorn, seemed set for a top ten finish himself, till an off put him down the field. Undeterred, Ashley fought back to 14th at the finish and fourth in the amateur award rankings.
And Yucky's third straight point-scoring finish in fourth place means he remains second overall in the Drivers' Championship, with Volkswagen third in the Manufacturers' League. Just before the Ulster rally came a surprise for the Volkswagen camp. Alistair McRae, reigning British champion, joined the team, taking over Puhaka's seat for the Ulster. The least said about that Ulster round, the better. Both drivers were out early with gearbox failures, but McRae had been quick enough while the car lasted to ensure a drive in this year's RAC rally. In September, the rally circus moved to the Isle of Man for the Manx International. 25-year-old Manx man Martin Rowe was Tapio's teammate, and he rapidly put his local knowledge to good effect. Early on, his gearbox gave trouble, but his crew made a lightning change and kept Martin on schedule. Tapio was destined to put in the drive of the rally in the yellow Sony car in an incident-packed event. Early on on the first day, he too ran into gearbox trouble, but again the team's used to slick work in gearbox changing, and he was soon on his way. Tapio clipped a bank and tore off a front wheel on that first day. Isle of Man banks tend to be unforgiving, but his team had the corner rebuilt and the flying fin on his way with the loss of just nine minutes. Martin Rowe was proving a pace setter from the start, consistently posting top three stage times, clinching Volkswagen's third place in the manufacturer's stakes. Tapio had fought back from 21st to 6th place before a drive shaft problem hit just two and a half miles from the finish, putting him back to ninth. Nevertheless, he had the satisfaction of being crowned two-litre king in Finland's national championship, which Volkswagen's been dominating all season. The RAC proved exceptionally punishing. Both Alistair McRae and Swedish ace Jorgen Johansson went out on the first day, but Austrian Raimund Baumschlager bought the new 280 brake horsepower kit car home, 10th overall and 6th in the two-wheel drive class. And Ashley posted a fine 20th overall and 8th amongst the privateers. Now Volkswagen looks forward to 1997 with two works cars and team leader Alistair McRae tackling not only the British Rally Championship but selected World Rally events and Ashley continues to campaign his privateer GTI. Take it to the 